Oh. All right, the list is growing every day. More school districts are heading back to school. That's right. Today it was Ambalaya's D's turn. Very exciting. That's 46,000 students getting the new school year started today. And on this first day, the district opened another campus, Autumn Ridge Middle School on Woodland Hills Drive. The district also replaced the Kingwood AG barn, which flooded during Hurricane Harvey. Tomorrow is a big back to school day. Nearly two dozen school districts in our area will be opening their doors to students, teachers and staff for the new year. Some of the biggest school districts going back Conroe ISD, Santa Fe ISD, Fort Bend ISD and Klein ISD. And now to that new book policy we we're telling you about that will allow parents to block their children from checking out certain types of books that they will be in Sci-Fair ISD. KPRC 2 Sabira Rayford is live with that story tonight. Sabira. Keith Daniela, under this new policy, parents will be able to see every single book at their child's school, meaning that teachers and staff will have to catalog thousands of books. The topic of classroom literature can't seem to be bookmarked. This has been a topic at board meetings, not only in our district, but across the state. Uh, since January, really. On Monday, Cypher ISD Board of Trustees unanimously voted to update their book policy. We're moving to having transparency of all the books in our collections so that parents can see what titles we happen to have. Meaning parents will be able to control if their child will have access to juvenile, young adult, or adult level reading. Teachers and staff will be responsible for creating the mass catalog. It was just one more thing, one more to do on their uh, already very busy, busy, you know, full plates. Nikki Coart is the president of Cypher AFT Teachers Union. She says when the policy change was brought up at a board workshop on Thursday, there was instant concern about adding to teachers already packed workload. Needless angst, if you will. Unfortunately, I just think it was poorly communicated. Others shared similar concerns at Monday night's meeting, so the board voted to implement the policy in November. I'm sorry for the angst that this has caused. Uh, I think as a board, we could have been louder in our communication. My initial reaction was like, Oh, hell no. Mother of two, Tara Cummings, says she was initially against the change, but is turning the page on her perspective. And I think the, the one thing that this, pro, that this policy, um, I think, is protective and is good about is that it protects each individual parent's rights to decide for their own child and only their own child. And the board president said this is going to be an ongoing conversation and they will likely be extending the deadline based on needs. Reporting live in Cyprus, Severe Rayford, KPRC 2 News.